Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me. It's Wendy here from Toon Pish Crafts. I hope you're okay. Thanks for joining me again. If you're new here, I hope you enjoy it. I hope I entertain you. Today I'm going to have a go at some more flowers. Now I do love doing flowers, but I've got some flower moulds that I want to use and I'm going to do four separate flowers, not timed or anything, just to see the difference between what pigments I've got and whether they sink, whether they, they work well. Um, and and to see what comes at the end of it to see how i like making them um they're little flower design molds i haven't got any with me which is typical <laughs> but i'm sure you'll see them in a minute <laughs> and you'll see the outcome as well um it'll help me anyway i hope it'll help you it's always worth seeing what other people are doing because you can gain experience i think from other people what they're doing and i and i love that I would be very appreciative if you could put the thumbs up and come over and see me on Instagram because I love Instagram. That's where my heart is and that's where I started and I've I've accumulated quite a lot of good friends over there who are also very artistic and crafty. And so yeah, come and, come and see. I always like seeing what other people are doing and if I'm inspiring you, then that's good too. Anyway, I'm waffling, so here's the video.
different, wasn't it? Four different flowers done on different days with the same person, the same resin and four different results. You never know what you're gonna get, do you, with the resin, but <laughs> I think I learned something. I learned these two were done with paste pigments in with alcohol in. And I don't think that putting paste pigments in works because they are extremely heavy. Now I only put a fraction in, I mean we're talking a tiny, tiny amount of paste pigments, but it still makes it heavy and it disperses differently. I mean this one was quite thick compared to the other three. And I think it's got more room to move then. You don't want that thick a resin. So don't do it too thick and don't use paste pigments in my opinion. These two, however, I mean they're still beautiful by the way, I still love them but the upside i don't like any of the undersides it's all upside now <laughs> these two these two i absolutely love um the pink one especially i think it's adorable and the purple one not so much only for the fact that the purple wasn't the color i was going for it it turned quite gray when they mixed with the white now i don't know why that is but it must be what's in the pigment to make up purple if you see what I mean but when you put it with the white it turned quite grey so then I had to put a little bit of resin dye in it which is slightly different to alcohol ink it's actually dye just for resin um, it's like the cheap version of alcohol ink because it's not alcohol ink um, but it did make it more purple so and there was I was then worried that it was going to sink because it'd be too heavy but it was fine it was quite thin though but all of these need top coat which I will do, I don't like top coating. Who does? But you know, if you, <laughs> if you want it to be done properly, you've got a top coat and you most of the time anyway. Sometimes you can get away with it. But yeah, I hope this helped you. It certainly helped me. It's always fun to do flowers, I think, but I don't think it's a fine, fine tuned art. I think it depends what re resin you use, it depends what pigments you use, it depends on the room temperature, the temperature outside, the humidity, blah, blah, blah. And it just goes on and on. <laughs> so yeah, best thing to do is just experiment yourself. Okay, anyway, I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me.